This is a super, super exciting moment, a really proud day for us. Uh, it's a very important day for history, so not only is it an important day for the Nordic racing team and for Air Race E, we hit a really major milestone today with the first flight of an electric air race plane. Um, but this is really important for industry. This is important for, in the history of aviation, this moment. Um, you know, there are very few electric airplanes that are flying in the world today, and for us to be able to get an electric race airplane up, a really high performance electric aircraft, this is just momentous, we're, we're, we're elated. When we do aircraft development in the Nordic countries, we're always very, uh, you know, we always look at the calendar. This whole place, the way it looks right now, was completely different two weeks ago. It was a very high risk, it couldn't be done today, to be honest. I did a takeoff um, to, towards the north and uh, had a smooth transition up to 100 knots uh, climbing speed. I climbed to, to altitude, 2,000 feet. Uh, I got uh, good indications of engine power. I had maximum torque we had set and I had uh, about uh, 2,500 RPMs. For the landing, I, I managed to do a, a, a stable approach and a, and a nice landing. So uh, very, very happy. And, no snacks on the aircraft. Halle! Fantastic. I feel great. It works great. Great? Yeah. Well done. It just ended up being a very nice experience, really. There were no issues on the way. Got some good feedback on the radio. I mean, a day like this couldn't really go any better than what it did, right? I'm really, really happy that we have a good system that works uh, great. It's a great relief after working hard for uh, many years to get to this point. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's a great feeling. I'm trying to figure out how much energy we used for the flight. So also it's like... Uh, Double checking is that everything okay with the battery cells. So actually, uh, looks fine. Uh, all the all the valves is equal, so no uh, nothing uh, strange happens. So everything is what more or less predicted. Yeah, so it's it's a very positive thing. Right now, I feel kind of on top of the world because we did this, you know, this first test flight. But when I forecast out a couple years to to having eight aircraft on the grid lining up with millions of spectators watching. Uh, well, I, I get a little little tickle in my in my gut there. It really begins now. Now is the first time we can really start to push this system and start to look at flying really fast. So the next steps is increasing the power, get even more power out of the system, and we're gonna get uh, higher speeds, and we're gonna have a real race aircraft uh, ready for racing. That's really where we are in 2022. This is the beginning and now we will start to work towards uh, the actual racing.